Prince Philip is known as being outspoken and forthright with his family members, but one incident in particular which involved Prince Charles incensed the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip is known for his outspoken views when it comes to the royal family, one example being him reportedly not being able to stand to be in the same room as son Prince Andrew's ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson. There was one moment during the breakdown of his oldest son Prince Charles' marriage to Princess Diana that caused the Duke of Edinburgh to become incensed and the royal family flabbergasted. The end of Prince Charles' marriage to Princess Diana hit headlines when they separated in 1992. Two years after the pair had separated, Prince Charles spoke in a televised interview and the content of it angered his father. Prince Charles admitted to having cheated on Princess Diana when speaking to Jonathan Dimbleby in 1994. Mr. Dimbleby asked the prince, did you try to be faithful and honorable to your wife when you took the vow of marriage? To which Charles responded, yes. Until it became irretrievably broken down, us both having tried. The decision for Charles to publicly admit his discretion angered many of his family members. Royal author Penny Juner wrote in her book The Firm, the Duke of Edinburgh was incensed, the rest of the family flabbergasted, the Queen's advisers and courtiers stunned, the Prince's friends appalled. Many regarded as the worst mistake of his life. At the time many people thought it might cost him the throne. Princess Diana later revealed to have known about the affair, famously saying, there were three people in this marriage. In the shocking BBC Panorama interview in 1995, Diana also questioned Prince Charles' suitability for the throne. The blame for the marriage breakdown was put on Prince Charles according to one expert. In the documentary Princes of the Palace, royal expert Robert Lacey said that, the Queen, and her husband, Prince Philip, put more of the blame on Prince Charles. Mr. Lacey added that the reason for that is because Prince Charles of course, as we since discovered, was already committed emotionally to another woman. Diana's relationship with Prince Philip was also reportedly strained, according to royal author Ingrid Seward's book My Husband and I, The Inside Story. The royal biographer also explained how in the aftermath of Princess Diana's tragic death Philip supported his grandsons. M. Seward wrote, Diana had grown to dislike Prince Philip intensely, and he her? but Prince William was devoted to the old man. William wanted his grandfather at his side in what was certain to prove the most harrowing public engagement the young man had had to endure. Prince Charles went on to marry Camilla Parker Bowles at a civil ceremony in 2005. Prince Charles is understood to have a distant relationship with his father Prince Philip. The Duke of Edinburgh bullied Charles as a young boy leaving him really frightened, a royal commentator has claimed. Prince Charles and Prince Philip are like chalk and cheese. A former naval officer, the Duke of Edinburgh's no-nonsense approach to parenting had a devastating impact on Charles who was a sensitive child, a royal biographer has claimed. Prince Philip was a boisterous boy who thrived at outdoorsy school Gordonshin, while his son Prince Charles was a timid child who favored the arts. Their contrasting personalities means their father and son relationship has remained distant to this day. Royal biographer Penny Juner explores their strange relationship in her 2005 book The Firm. Ms. Juner claimed the Duke of Edinburgh did not show much affection towards his son. She wrote, the Duke of Edinburgh was and is a bully, and was sparing in his affection. She recalled Philip was rough with his son and frequently reduced the boy to tears. According to Ms. Juner, Philip's treatment of Charles did irretrievable damage to their relationship. She wrote, Charles was frightened of his father and always desperate to please him, without ever apparently succeeding. While Prince Charles has grown into his role as the Prince of Wales, Ms. Junior believes he still seeks his parents' approval. She wrote, Charles is still eager to please his parents and earn their approval, and much of the time still feels he's failing. Prince Philip allegedly makes biting remarks towards his son and to this day. Ms. Junior writes, It is hard to feel anything else when your father repeatedly makes sarcastic and cutting comments either to you or about you. Prince Philip's insistence Prince Charles went to Gordonson instead of Eton College is said to have hurt their relationship too. While Philip had thrived at Gordonson as a boy, Charles was mercilessly bullied at the school which placed character before academic ability. 
Richard Fitzwilliams told, one of the main reasons for the distant relationship between the Duke of Edinburgh and Charles was the decision, made by the Duke, to send him firstly to Cheam and then to Gordonson. In Jonathan Dimbleby's authorized biography of Charles, the Duke is quoted as writing children may be indulged at home, but school is expected to be a Spartan and disciplined experience in the process of developing into self-controlled, considerate and independent adults. This was a bad mistake. He failed to recognize that Charles, a sensitive child, would not flourish in the schools where he himself had been in his element. 